G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. And today, we're at Donnelly River. Now if you're walking on the Bilbo track, this is one of the towns you come to, the Donnelly River. And when you get to the Donnelly River village, this is where you come into to sign in to let everybody know you got here safe in the track book. And also it's the main place to come if you want a decent coffee, anything to eat and get your supplies. And also this is where you book your room if you want a high room at the old school or if you just want to pay the five dollars for a towel and go use the shower to clean up before you head off which I'll be doing today because I smile a bit after three days on the Bibbleman track uh, let's go inside and have a look oh also this is a place you'll have your um, resupplies sent to so you'll come here to pick up your resupplies to re stock up on your pack so you've got enough food and gear to get down to the next section whichever way you're going, heading south or north Oh, you're good Still going <laughs> Oh, isn't that cool? Some cosy seats to sit down and relax after a long day of walk. The DVDs. Nice cool drink if need be. Which is well worth it. First thing I got is a coffee and a burger. Which comes on a big bread roll and salad. It tastes beautiful. And your chockies, or your goodies, your lollies. They don't have all the normal freeze dried foods, but this is some of the stuff they do have. A little bit different. Yes, we've got tack around the corner on the back of the store. Unfortunately, at the moment, yeah, it's not at the moment because it's the things pop off. We're not just waiting on a climate to come and run. Yeah, good options still. Quite different to the normal. Pretty dry food. We've got a nose version there. We've got a continental. Quick oats, powdered milk, Epsom salts. <laughs> now, some Sultana Brown breakfast packs to take with you. Some more continentals, noodles. They're a pretty good choice. Yeah, yeah. Gas canisters down here. Um, so, one Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, so, fix them all for your blisters and band aids and batteries and hand tissues. Yeah. Small the, um, toothpaste. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Soaps and get your shower with. You roll on to smell better. Okay, heading up to the old school to get a shower. It's beautiful view. Hey, beautiful little village. Most of these shadows or old homes can be rented out. So if you want to spend a little bit more money not hiking on the Bill Woman track or anything, you can rent one of those all around. That's just beautiful here. And if you want to spend a little bit less. You 
can get a bonk in the old schoolhouse, which is where I'm heading now. Amelie <clears throat> River is a popular tourist place. So if you're thinking coming in the school holidays, we're walking through, it's going to be a bit busier than normal. Some kangaroos are staying here. Hey boys and girls. How you doing buddies? Hello. Hey. Hello. Just chilling out in the park. Hey, I'm gonna walk by. How you doing, mate? Hello, buddy. Hey. Can't get my shower. And we've got another emu over here. One thing not many people realise is emus and most flightless birds. The father that looks after me chicks once the eggs are laid. Say hey, hello. How you doing? So once you actually get to see an emu, and if it's got the chicks, you know, that's the dad looking after them. Just come up to the old school now. <coughs> Now, if you don't want to spend any money whilst hiking at Bill Woman Track and you're coming through, you've got these two shelters outside that you can throw your swag out in, and your sleeping bag, and your bivvy, whatever you're using, and sleep in here for the night. Pretty nice, aren't they? Hey. Somebody's got their sleep up there ready. And there's two of these. This one's got a prep table in. You can do your little cooking on there with your stove. Your school kitchen. You got your microwave, you got a working fridge, you can hear it going. Almost it's nice. All your basic utensils there, kettle, toaster, oh, some tea bags too, a couple of hot plates, a mini stove, oven, your sink, all the essentials, fire blanket, all your knives and forks in the drawers, I don't know, a table to sit at, I have to excuse the mess on there, some towels of the shoes, a nice little seating area, and this is a shower. Very basic, very simple, but very effective. Hot water runs out of that shower, which is nice. You've got your normal dunny there, your toilet, your little sink, you've got a boiler for your hot water. Oh, even a hairdryer, which I don't think I need. A couple of hand towels. Yes, nice. And hooks on the door to hang your gear. And look at the view out the window. Isn't that just beautiful? How about that? Clean socks, jocks, pants, and shirt. It's amazing what a shower and clean clothes can do. You feel a million dollars. Yeah, it's well worth the five dollars for the towels and the use of the shower when you get here into Donnelly River. And going down to the little general store there, fantastic people. That's where you go to get your key and towels to get in here to get freshened up and cleaned up. Let's go have a wander. Let's come out of the kitchen. Here's your veranda. Yeah, somewhere to sit down and just relax. We can go chop a few trees. 
so I said, that. That's when men were meant. That's the old school. Steam in the valley, wood and water. The Donnelly River was the lifeblood of this town. The source of all things, drinking water, pleasure work. The town dam was originally constructed to fill the boilers which drove the mill, but somehow ended up as the local swimming hole. Children would stream down past Jack Serena's place for a swim after school. The lucky ones might be given sixpence for sweets by Jack, who had a soft spot for the kids. There was never a shortage of water at Donnelly. It rained for eight months of the year, averaging 58 inches which is 1,475 millimetres. Both the mill and the school kept a rain gauge, but one year there was a uh, what's that, considerable uh, discrepancy. How could this be? Thought the school teacher. It can't possibly rain more up our end of the town. That was until uh, he discovered that a couple of naughty schoolboys had been adding to the school gauge by using it for their daily toilet. <laughs> Not buggers storyboards to go on and on. The history is just fantastic. How these towns started. And apparently a lot of the original families that lived here still live in the area now. How fantastic so I love it. There's another emu just plodding down the road. Without a care in the world. Right, let's take a walk down. Oh, there's quite a few emus down there now. They must have all run in for Tucker. So I'm going to grab my bag, close the door to the kitchen where the shower is, and take the towel back down to the general store. Oh, look, is that in there? Oh, there's a lounge and tables in there. Back of the table tennis. Is that in there? Yep, just a table, tennis table, and a couple of lounges and chairs to sit down on. <laughs> just watching that emu. There we go, walking down the main street, and here's the locals. Come to say good day. <laughs> All the emus. Kangaroo laying down below the tree, dressed in. Hello, mate. Are you the warden allowing people to cross? Hey, you're a crossing person. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Look at this. Oh, I'd love to live somewhere like this. It's quiet at the moment, but I think it'd be a bit noisy in the school holidays when it gets busy. It'd still be a great place to be able to live. This is the main road. Busy, isn't it? Well, that's a quick look at Donnelly River. Beautiful place to come and have a stay. And when you're walking through, doing your hike, at your end to end on the Bill on Track, according to the general store here, <sighs> managers Sue and Mike, husband and wife, make a fantastic burger. Beautiful. I'm watching the food come out and everybody bringing back empty plates, that's a good sign. Yes, yeah, cold drinks friendly and have a good chat with him so if you enjoyed the video please go down below 
and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell and select all, click the thumbs up button, that's the like button, and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.